today on Running to Him. Readership is a developed skill that begins by being a servant. Most war or spy or thriller movies contain the same parts of, and the good guy is seeking to accomplish a noble task and seems to be well on his way to achieve it. However, the bad guys try and entice him or her into giving up, and when that fails, the bad guys attempt to destroy the good guys. Well, if you're joining us in going through the books of Ezra, Nehemiah, and Esther, today's reading is Nehemiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 14, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, Nehemiah 6, verses 5 through 8 says this, Then Sanballat sent his servant to me in the same manner, a fifth time, with an open letter in his hand. And it was written, It is reported among the nations, and Gashmu says, that you and the Jews are planning to rebel, and therefore you are rebuilding the wall, and you are to be their king, according to their reports. You have also appointed prophets to proclaim in Jerusalem concerning you, a king is in Judah, and now it will be reported to the king according to these reports. So come now and let us take counsel together. And then I sent a message to him saying, Such things as you are saying have not been done, but you are inventing them in your own mind. Well, you can see in today's politics in the United States, this is pretty much the story. At times, both parties are using devious means to accomplish their goal. Now, I'm sure you're saying, yep, that's just what the, you fill in the blank, are doing. But both political parties project what they are doing onto the other. And then, and I truly am impressed by their attempt, they make up a lie about the other person and present it as a fact. Several times I've heard a politician say something like this about another politician. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard there are three distinct plots in this reading today in verses 1 through 4. Sanballat attempts to draw Nehemiah into an ambush by offering to speak with him on an interval place. In verses 5 through 9, he's attempting to scare him by developing a rumor that, that Nehemiah was trying to become king. And finally, in verses 10 through 13, Sanballat hired Shemaiah to try and lure him into the temple. And while we don't know the exact reason for this, the assassination rumor was false. Now, secondly, it would have broken Mosaic law for a non-priest to enter into the temple building, Numbers 3.10 and 18.7. We must be aware that Satan wants to stop the project that we're doing under God's direction using any, any means possible. Now, sometimes it means drawing the unprepared into an illicit sexual relationship. Other times, he attempts to convince us that the project is too great or causes us to procrastinate through various means. He may even use scripture to try and persuade us. No matter which technique he uses, it's up to the believer to be prepared to combat it. This preparation requires that we learn God's word. We need to surround ourselves with fellow believers and we need to have an active prayer life. Through these three things, we can be actively preventing deception and defeat. But the relationship requires repentance also. We need to evaluate our walk and confess our failure without excuses. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. If you listen to us on Facebook or YouTube, please like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. You can always email us at phineasjacobus at runningtohim.net.